What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Weekly Indie Newcomer, our Friday series where we hang out for a little bit and play an indie game that's been bouncing around my hard drive over the course of the last week. This week we have Karate Master 2. Now if you haven't heard anything about Karate Master 2, it's a single player fighting game where you start out from nothing, training your character up through various sort of like Mario Party type mini games, and then as you level you go into these little fighting simulations in between. If you ever played Best of the Best Karate for the Sega Genesis, it's kind of like that, but it's animated sort of like a Neo Geo game from 1996 and everything about it is just pleasurable in a nostalgic way and so I sat down and started playing it and I look at some of the reviews and the game looked really really badass I've been watching it for about a week now before it came out and so I couldn't wait to get started I played the game for probably a couple hours last night a couple hours the days before I've really been having a blast with it and so let's start out by doing the opening cinematic and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get started in the game this game has a very very high learning curve you're gonna need guides and so I'll put those down below if you end up playing the game or buying it it's translated very very poorly and so you're gonna need guides to teach you how to play because the game does not explain anything and so I'll link the guides down below just in case you decide to go buy the game they're both up on the Steam forums in the guide section but they got me started and they gave me a much better appreciation for how the game works since it basically just throws you into cold water all by your lonesome so without further ado I'm interested in showing off as much gameplay as possible let's play the game shall we Alright, so now we're in game. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This game is really, really cool, although as you can see right there, the translation definitely needs some work. And so you start out with a couple of training sessions that are ready to go, and you've got a bunch of stats right here. The game is, it's it's tough. It's going to be very, very tough to get into this one if you've never played it before, but honestly, after about four hours, I have a pretty solid understanding of what just about everything is. Even some of the limited Japanese, I kind of just like went through and translated it on Google. And so now you're, everything is in English, by the way. It's just that they actually translate them into to the English phonetic versions of whatever they're saying in Japanese. And so, for example, Taikite up there, you're not really going to know what that does based on its description. Strength up there, oh look, they fixed it, it patched today. So it's funny, but in the previous, up here right here, strength, it was misspelled up until last night. It said strength, and then it had an H right there, and it says stringata, and so it had an H and a T. Definitely some English going on with this game, but they're slowly improving it. And so that's actually changed in the last eight or nine hours since I went to bed. The first things that we want to do is we actually want to jump out into the Karate Do Dojo or whatever the hell it is that we're doing. We want to train our stats, and so we're actually going to train our strength. Oh, look, it's still misspelled right there. We're going to spell. We're going to work on our stringata. And so on this side, stringata, we can do the Tamishiwari. If I mess up any of the, pr the pronunciations, I really apologize. But as you might guess, I've never spoken Japanese before. So frankly, I'm going to mess up a lot of stuff during the course of this episode. Strength is important because it allows you to one-shot people. The combat can actually end in a single blow. If you mess up and you catch like a good hook to the side of the head, bam, you're out. And so strength is going to help you avoid getting knocked the hell out. And it's going to help you knock people out a lot easier. And so that's usually where I start with my characters. We're probably going to do pretty poorly in tournaments anyways. But let's start out with the Tamishiwari. And so here's our first mini game. We gotta center that right there, and then we just gotta spam on the A button for force. And if we can break the tiles, God, that guy that's like third from the left, he looks like he's trying to cut like the most massive fart right. Like he looks like he basically had Taco Bell before he came to practice. And so he's just like, if I could just make it five more minutes, please, Karate Jesus, five more minutes until class is out. Oh, I'll never eat Taco Bell again, I swear. I'll never eat it again, I promise. Just let me make it five minutes. 
I'm in a white, oh my god, I'm wearing a white gi too. Everybody's gonna know. It's gonna be the worst. And so I'm gonna train strength twice, actually, so that we can get to level two, so that maybe we stand a fighting chance. That's a pun that I intentionally managed to make. But anyway, so that we can have a fighting chance at doing this. So we're gonna do the same mini game one more time. And then we'll drop that in. Oh, I missed it. I missed it by a little bit. It doesn't really matter. I've actually been way, way, way off center and still been able to break all the tiles just by making it to the end of the bar. So I don't think it really matters so long as you can actually complete the entire thing. And so, yummy. Yummy indeed. We have broken some tiles. And so we now have level 2 Strangata. The level 2 Strangata, it's not going to be that much of a difference from level 1, but it will make our attacks hurt quite a bit more. It'll make us a little bit more proficient at beating the ass. If there's one thing that I've learned from this game, it's that when you fight with your girlfriend, the most constructive thing to do is to go out and punch stuff. That seems to be the way to fix things. Now, there are a couple things you can do in here. The Kihon... Or the Kaihan, I don't really know how that's said. The Kihon right here will actually allow you to practice the moves that are in the game by watching. The instructor calls them out so that you can actually do the random stuff if you're interested in learning how all these things work. I actually don't use this that much. Occasionally I use this, but it's not a thing that I go after soup. Hey, 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 sir, that was definitely a B key right there. There we go. Oh, that's an A key. My bad. We'll go back in over here, okay, and then we'll go down to right there. I'm a little bit slow on all this, but I hope we make it. Oh good, we made it. I don't really know the names of any of the moves. I kind of know what different stuff does, and I'll talk about it as we go into our first fight. And then if you want to, you can go into the Kumite, which is your... It's sort of like a training fight, and there's two types of fights in this game. There's full contact, which means you can throw blows to the head, and then there's limited contact, which is basically like dodging, kicking to the body. You can kick to the head, weirdly enough. But you can't throw punches to the head, it's still off limits, and so I'll, differ I'll differentiate those in just a second. Osu! Oh, this is Captain Handle Bandit. Captain, I call him Comrade Handle Bandit, he's the guy that trains us in between fights. Did you want to talk with me, boy? Sensei, I want to fight! I am going to join up a tournament! Well, good, boy. Beating everyone up is good for your body! In the city, we have two tournament types! Shin Kyokukai tournaments. Full contact, no protective equipment, punches at the face are forbidden. Boku Karate Kumite tournaments. Helmets and gloves as protective equipment, but punches to the face are allowed. It's up to you, boy. Osu! Oh, Thank you, Commander Handle Bandit. I appreciate you taking the time to explain how the world works, but first, just like in real life, we gotta work our shitty job in order to move things forward, so let's go ahead and do that. This is a mini game that you only have to play like every now and again to earn money in the beginning, so don't think that this is like something you're gonna have to do a lot, but in the early game, I would say just to bust this out like four or five times in a row. Some people on the forums have complained about the game being grindy with regards to like, if you're bad at the game, you're definitely gonna end up grinding. So in the early game, my recommendation would be to do this mini game like maybe four or five times, earning the max maximum amount, and once you've got that, you don't need the pallet, it's fine, just throw the barrels in the back. Just with reckless abandon, who cares? We need to earn 16 generic money, and if we can't do that, no one will ever love us and we won't be able to punch people properly. Because the tournaments and the things that you're going to join, they actually take a bit of cash to enter, and so until you have that cash, you are going to be up shit creek without a paddle. So I'm going to train up a little bit right here. The maximum I've ever been able to pull down off one of these is like $32. And so, let's see, I don't think I'm going to be able to break that threshold for right now, though. But you got to work your crappy job for a little bit. This game is really sort of just like a collection of loose mini-games, punctuated by pretty good fighting, actually. And so, if you're into pretty good fighting, I'd say that this would not be a bad call. We earned 32 monies, which is my best score. I've never been able to do better. You earn training points at the top of the screen right here by winning tournaments, and you can get into tournaments by paying $10. And so you start out with general access tournaments that cost $10 a piece. You fight in those for a little bit, and once you win, you get fame. Every time you go into a combat situation, you'll get a little bit of XP into each of these bars. They all do different things. So strength increases your damage, and the possibility of doing an instant, it's called an Iken Desetsu or something like that, I don't know. It's got a specific name, but basically it's your chance to one-shot people. Toughness makes you better at withstanding blows and it's your resistance to getting one shot at yourself speed makes you fire faster with all of your blows taikite is the hardness of your skin and your limbs and so this actually increases your chance of causing critical damage as well so it ties into both toughness and strength and then key actually defines how powerful your hits are you have a little bar at the bottom of the screen when you fight called key if it's fully filled up you do maximum damage if it's empty it means you're doing weak hits it's just like one of the random little things that you've got to deal with but let's do a couple fights so you can see what it's like to be a starting character and then what I'll do is for the back half when I'm doing the pros and cons of the game we'll do my high level character and we'll do some of the cooler fights some of the things that are a little bit more challenging let's go so we're going to go to, let's go to the full contact sports hall so that we can do punches to the face because honestly, if I can damage somebody's cranium, I think it's going to make me really, really happy. So let's go. 
All right, so we're in, and we are facing the infinite Karate Guy 1, the indestructible Karate Guy 2, the prolifically named Karate Guy 3 through 9. And so welcome to the combat. By holding backwards, it means you're going to block high and you're going to block back. If you're in close combat right here, holding upwards is going to make you block up, holding down is going to make you block down, and being neutral is just going to make you block center. A is going to make you kick with your left foot. Ow, I just got kicked. In. Okay. All right, so that's how it's going to be, pal. I'm trying to explain an episode right here, and you're messing with me. I'm going to knock you the hell out if you don't stop. You better, you better cease and desist, sir. You better cease and desist. I'm getting... Oh, no! I've been clipped and I'm bleeding out of my helmet. I got a helmet on and he still managed to rock my face. All right. Well, anyways, the Y button is for right punches. X button's for left punches. And then you hold combinations of up and down to make him go high or low. I'm actually... Ah, uh, never mind. He's going to heal a little bit because I knocked him down on accident. Whereas the A button is going to be your left kick. And then the B button is going to be your right kick. And then you can also aim high. You can aim low. You can aim center just in case. And then there's lots of internal, like combat mechanics in this game that they don't necessarily really tell you about. I'm going to try, ow, like getting kicked in the face. Hold on, pal. If you're wondering, the AI loves to go high a lot, so I would just watch high, and then if you start taking a lot of hits, I would back off considering the game allows you to auto block while walking backwards, and so, oh, did I get him? Oh, I didn't get him. I thought I knocked him the hell out. All right, I'm going high right now. Boxing seems to be pretty, like, effective. You may want to mix in a couple of kicks just to throw off his defense and then just knock him the hell out like that right there. And so as you can see, the aesthetic of the game is very much from that old Neo Geo period. When you look at it in screenshots, it actually doesn't really do it justice. I was looking at the screenshots and I was like, eh, it looks like a janky-ass Flash game. But then once you start playing, it actually all looks pretty good. It reminds me of Art of Fighting in a lot of ways, actually. I don't know if you guys ever played Art of Fighting. It was sort of like this sideline fighting game that was on Neo Geo systems back... Oh, I would have got him if I had gone with a right kick right there. If somebody goes for a high kick, if you kick their opposite leg, it knocks them down instantly and you score a point. The point system only matters if you fail to knock out your opponent. Our key's a little bit low right now. Unfortunately, we won't be unlocking any hits for now. Ah, he went low on that one. Usually they go high when you step in. And then once you're up close, I would highly recommend that you press up and Y to get your uppercuts going because uppercuts are really, really good in this game. Ow. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm getting worked. All right. Oh, shit. Okay, so never mind then. I need to get up in here and we just need to go. We need to go on this dude. Oh, he's got a muscle industry. Okay, so that's a critical hit right there. And what it means is he has to drop his guard every couple seconds. And it means that you just get to work him right there. And that can happen to you just like it happened to him. That's why you want to work your strength and your Taikite to try and get that to happen. I call it the Tai Kitty because it's more cute. So you want to work on your kitty skills in order to get that to happen more frequently. We're in the final round right now. And so we have a real chance to make some fame. But this guy actually tends to be a lot worse than all of the previous ones. Unless we can get like a head injury or something going on. I'm going to work the head. We've landed about as many blows as he has. Unfortunately, ah, he's he's doing a pretty good job right now at healing. You do regenerate a little. Is he trying to ring out right now? What's he trying to do? Ah, he's trying to get me. We're the same size, too. So fighting different sized opponents, you are going to have to work things a little bit. Nope, I'm going to keep going. Oh, we got Brain Shock. Brain Shock, he's down. He's done. That means he's basically knocked out already on his feet. So since we got Brain Shock, I'm going to work his head a little bit more, and down he goes. I didn't talk about the little body figurines at the bottom left and the bottom right, but they're pretty self-explanatory. You take damage to different body parts, your head, your body, and your legs. And when you run out of health, yeah, we won. Ooh, that guy on the right that got third place. Imagine that face looking at you through the fence of the kindergarten. Nope, that guy's a creeper right there. He deserved the ass whooping that he got. We put on that sexy smile when we win, though. They'll be like, ugh, throw that muscle up in the air. If I had guns and pecs like this, dude, I would flex everywhere that I went. And so now we got two training points because we won the tournament and that's your reward is you get to train a little bit more. The other thing that we got is we got some fame. Now, there's no winnings right now to say. Once you get further into the game, you earn money by winning fights. Those will be street brawls. Those will be brawls that, the, that are at random places in the city. So, for example, you get to fight the Cobra Kai dojo. This game has a lot of references towards, like, Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee. It's got the Karate Kid in there. It's got a lot of references in it. And so, even poorly translated, you will see people show up. You fight Chuck Norris at one point. You fight a guy that's called Chong Lee, but he's supposed to be Bruce Lee. You fight a guy named, oh, who was it? You fight a guy, oh, you fight Sagat from Street Fighter. He's the leader of the Muay Thai dojo. It's There's a lot of cool references in here that you're going to run into along the way. And it is a fun game that has a very serious learning curve. Like, you do get better at it. If you think I'm bad at the game right now, imagine how I was four hours ago. Because seriously, I was doing very, very poorly. For right now, I think I'll go after... what? Were, what's my state right now? Hold on. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. What's my state? So strength, we could conceivably... 
get our strength up a little bit higher. Our toughness needs work really badly though too because the next couple fights are going to really sort of dictate the way that we're able to compete. And so let's go after toughness. With body conditioning, this one's going to be a handbreaker. I went to sleep last night and my hands physically hurt from doing some of the mini games. So basically he's going to punch us every few seconds and we just got to spam buttons to get the bar up to the full. And you'll see that we get different amounts of XP based on how much we filled up the bar. And so I don't know if this is how people actually train, but letting a guy punch you seems like a really good way to coax out an injury pre-fight. I don't know. My my goal in karate and all that would be to avoid getting hit altogether, but right now, it appears as though we're doing... Ah, I had to switch fingers right there, so unfortunately this is going to go poorly. Mashing buttons! All of the button spam that we can make happen. Sing the song of button mashing. But yeah, you're going to gain you're gonna gain some forearm strength in this game playing it. I, I can virtually promise you that. I can almost tell you. Oh my god, there's so much XP to be gained right now, and I'm just messing up on it. We really need this to be up like 70 or 80 so we can get a really good pull. And so there it is, 70, come on, we got 69 XP, giggity, I'll point it out for the YouTubes! And I think there's one more punch coming in, I think. There it is, so we got 81 XP, that's a pretty good training session. It's a pretty good, that guy has giant forearm. Oh good, we got toughness too! We actually managed to get it, so that's actually a really, really good thing. I guess we could go after some of our Tai Kitty, I don't really know how to do Tai Kitty, I don't train this very often. Tai Kitty gives us the Maki Wada, okay, so since we got the Maki Wada, so what this is going to do is we have to punch when it tells us to punch, and we got to kick when it tells us to kick. Oh, we got to move up close, too. Sorry. Oh, nope, I'm messing it up. I'm messing it up. Oh, no! I'm actually going to stick with left punches, because I think it's going to be a little bit more effective. There we go. Now I've got it locked in. Come on. Get those kicks in. Yep, train it up. That's right, punching a big ass stick just to get better at beating fools' asses. Ooh, they're giving me some freebies right there, yeah! Don't switch back to kick right now. There it is, I just had to get into position, I had to get a feel for the rhythm of it. Now I got the rhythm, I got the rhythm. 51 XP isn't terrible, that's fairly average. 60 is what you get for a maximum performance in most, so our Thai Kitty goes up a little bit more so that we can be a little bit harder in our body, and that's cool. No dude could ever turn down. You got a little bit hard is good now and again for a dude. So anyways, let's fight another one. We'll go to the stadium. Uh, we'll lose the stadium fight. So the stadium fight, you're not allowed to punch people in the face. That's problematic. And so in punching people, being not allowed to punch people to the face, getting a body knockout or a leg knockout is actually a lot more difficult. Let's give it a go, though, so you can see what it's like. These are the two types of tournaments you're going to fight for the rest of the game. we got a little bit of time left. It looks like Karate Guy 3 decided to show up again, too. It's been a while since I've seen that guy. Hooray! That dude's hairstyle is sketch as hell. Please don't... No, please don't hit me. Oh, I've already knocked him down. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yep, I knew that was coming. They always start off with those high kicks. They love those high kicks during this tournament. Working his leg a little bit, seeing if I can keep him down. I don't know if there's a TKO in this game. I don't think that there is. Come on. Ah, I was trying to... Nope. I knew that was coming in. They do it every time. Every single time. I'm going to try and keep him low right now. If I can. Ah, I couldn't keep him low. Keep that. Okay. Oh, we got his leg. It's almost wounded. We got his leg beat up a little bit. It did that little flash right there to let you know that he's got a slight leg injury. Like, not a real leg injury. But we're definitely working it a little bit. There used to be a kickboxer that used to work people's legs like that. And I can't remember his name now. He used to sit there all day long and he just work your legs. He'd never throw a punch. He'd just kick you in the leg. Just working that thing the entire fight. And I forget his name. He was actually pretty famous. He won some... Oh, there he goes. We got him. And so now that he's down on his ass, we're just going to keep working that leg right there because I think that's going to be our best chance for success right here. I don't think we're going to win this tournament. The third guy in the full contact, no face shots tournament is actually pretty difficult, and he tends to give me a little bit of pause. You do fight the same guys every time, so... I'm going to get in on this guy right now. Yeah, I knew that kick was coming. I'm going to try... Oh, I took that one right there. See if I can keep working his legs, though, and keep him from regenerating. You do regenerate a tiny bit if you can get your wind back. And so now that we're out of key, I'm going to back off a little bit until he gets... Oh, I tried to go in for a grab right there, and I messed up. That was an accident. Ah, he got us. I went in high, and he got me low. Ah, we're getting worked so hard right now. I need to stay on that leg is what I need to do. I'm going to keep working it. Maybe we'll be able to get him down. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. I'm going to back up a little bit because our body's looking a little bit shot. We need to be careful about the body shots from here on in. Ah, I could take the head shots. Those don't matter. 
the body shots, though I really, really can't suffer those any further. So I knocked him down on accident, which means he gets a little rest period, which is going to cause him to regenerate. Ah, eh, I think he's going to get us. We're not ready for this guy. We're just not ready yet. So it looks like there's no TKOs. I think I got him three times. I'm pretty sure that thrice we have taken him out. Oh, we got him with a grab. Yeah, get in there. Work him. Work him. Get that leg. Oh, we might get him. We just got to oh, stay away from the body shots for right now. No body shots. This will not be a fun Mardi Gras. Oh, he's trying to work us so hard along that leg. Come on, back up. Give me some... Oh, no, we're so close. We got this dude, but we're so worked right now. Our t oh, never mind. We got room. We got room. All right. So we're like a hotel with... Oh, we got him. Yeah, we brought it in. That's how we do it right there. We're going to make it into the final leg of this race. That's the only pun that I could think of right now. That guy doesn't like to kick it with us, I guess. He's not a fan. He wanted to get to the foot of our argument. This guy is going to whoop the shit out of us. I already know it. This dude is actually pretty... I'm going to go for body shots on this guy. And just like see... Oh, he's breath... We... Oh, we criticaled out of it. Yeah, there it is. We got a critical strike on the first... Oh, we're both... Are we both wounded? Okay, just knock him the hell out right now. We got very, very lucky right there. We got a critical hit on the first swing and it made him breathless. Which means he basically just has to sit there while we whoop his ass. He needs to work on his toughness so it doesn't happen. Ooh. Kindergarten Creepers back. Never mind. Uh, no, I don't want to compete against you anymore. Everybody's so stiff in the audience. They're like, yay. Yay. It's still so awesome. This game is so like, this game is so ridiculously campy that you have to love it when you play. Oh, we only got one training for that one? That's disappointing. Well, I'm going to work on strength. But you know what I'm going to do? Let's skip into pros and cons. And I'm going to play with my high-level character for a little bit while we do that. How's that sound? Karate Master 2 is the sort of game that's really going to scratch an itch for a very targeted group of gamers. And if you were into any sort of Neo Geo, like World Heroes, Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury, or if you find yourself fantasizing for like a spiritual revitalization of Karateka, then Karate Master 2 is going to be like a really good call for you. In the positives columns, I chalk up Karate Master 2 as having recognizable art styles, which is equal parts based in nostalgia and originality. The gameplay can become a bit repetitive at points, but then again, Karate Master isn't really like the sort of game that you're going to play for more than one or two hours at a time anyways but what it does do very very properly is just get you into the action the fight system is solidly designed which is really sort of an important point right here and rewards careful gameplay and aggressive gambits equally while still allowing inexperienced players the chance to just like outright one shot their opponent with a well-placed punch or kick because of that factor, you never really feel like a fight is truly over until your character hits the mat because by design, your opponent is one brain shock or like Ikan Hisatsu away from like a thrilling comeback regardless of how low your health might be. Backing up this action is a soundtrack that I found to be as equally rooted in nostalgia as the visuals. You have funk and house tunes which give away to mid 80s style like hair metal inspired anime riffs as the fights grow more or less intense and it feeds into the tension of the melee exchange really really well. The enemies are pretty diverse and the game houses a fantastic sense of humor and self-awareness if you take the time to stare at the backgrounds and opponents during the fights, but conversely the game does come up weak in several key areas and some of these will really scare potential players off. The poor translation combined with no real tutorial or information will definitely cause a bit of confusion for first time players and I had to consult guides, there's no shame in admitting it, I had to consult a bunch of guides posted on the internet prior to being able to play anywhere near proficiently. Still, I'm going to put these down below in the description, the guides that I used anyways, so that anybody that decides to purchase the game can read the guides and get started and actually save yourself a little bit of time and confusion. The training sessions can be really really hit or miss with some of them being ridiculously easy and rewarding versus others having almost no payoff and being close to impossible to complete. But but once you lock down the training routines, which are the easiest and the most effective, you'll come up, you'll, seriously, you'll become a bicep bulking karate kung fu killer in no time. But like, once again, no explanation is ever tendered for any of the training scenes. You just sort of have to figure them out through trial and error or consult a guide. Luckily, most of them are pretty easy to figure out, but a couple of them will definitely leave you scratching your head until you, you know, watch another video or try and figure out exactly what it is you're supposed to be doing. The job sessions, like driving the forklift and grinding for cash, didn't really need to exist in the game at all. And I honestly would have preferred a system where money played into the progression of your character somehow, rather than just being like this forced minigame spam which you have to grind in order to get started playing the game. Honestly, if I was designing the game, I would have tried to get people into the fights as soon as possible because the fights are like the best part of the game. I would have started you out straight away just kicking and punching like crazy and just let you go from there. I think that there are some balance issues that are present with certain techniques versus others. And I think boxing is actually the most obvious example right here. Spamming high and mid boxing moves is super effective versus the AI and it overwhelms their guard very, very easily. I'd love to see that tone down a tad because otherwise the game's combat is like fantastically fast paced and focused. I'd also recommend not playing the game without a gamepad as the keyboard controls are simply not designed 
for fighting games. My Xbox 360 control performs with fantastic response times, as expected from a fighting title, but with the keyboard the game would definitely be a no-go for me. So I'd say that in its way, Karate Master 2 is sort of like this melange of weird and poor ideas married with above average fighting and beat em up gameplay. Like The Misadventures of Tron Bon or like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, it takes a lot of chances and packages the good with the bad, ultimately resulting in a game that I found to be very enjoyable despite of its flaws. It's incredibly campy and absolutely has some critically rough edges, but at the end of the day, the game is really, really fun and memorable, which as a gamer is what I feel like I'm after anyways. So if you wanted to pick up Karate Master 2, the game is $9.99 on Steam right now. You can pick it up. I think it was designed by Creasoft, and I don't know who did the translation or whatever, but I've got all the information down below in the description. This is Weekly Indie Newcomer, which is my series that I do every Friday where we talk about an indie game that I've been playing the hell out of over the course of the last week. This week, I'm seriously, a lot of Karate Master has been played at my house. And so, with that said, I'd like to thank you for being here. I will see you all next week on Friday. My name is Splattercat, and it was my pleasure to do this little review for all of you, or this first impressions video, I suppose. I'll see you all next week on Friday. Don't forget to check out Karate Master and decide for yourself, and I will see you next time. I do, everybody.